ओके सो आई एम गोन डिस्कस वन इंटरेस्टिंग गुड प्रॉब्लम केम इन दिस टूडे बार के एग्जाम बार ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव फिजिक्स एग्जाम सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज प्रिटी सिंपल दैट यू हैव गिवेन सम कर्व वाई इज इक्वल टू सम वाई फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन ओके हियर इज सम द पार्टिकल प्रॉब्लम लुक्स वेरी सिंपल बट द ऑप्शन आर प्रिटी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ओके सो दिस इज अ क्लासिकल मेकेनिक्स प्रॉब्लम सो this may seems very easy but if you try to match the options the options are pretty complicated there is some x double dot minus y double dot dy dx and there is some x double dot plus g minus y double dot dy dx this kind of thing because you have, you have to go to with dy dx because y is a function of x so if you if you try to match the options they are looking pretty complicated so first try to look some things okay so first thing is y is a function of ax so when you calculate y dot this is actually dy dt right so using the chain rule you can write is that dy dx into dx dt right so it is x dot and the dy dx is i am writing as y dash okay so x dot y dash now what is d2 y dt2 that is y double dot y double dot is You have simply have to take d d t of this this result that is x dot y dash right so x dot y dash so this is x double dot into y dash plus x dot into d y dash d t now what is this d y dash d t you can write is that write it as d y dash d x into d x d t that is x dot. Okay, and what is your dy dash dx? This is nothing but y double dash. Okay, so you have to use this chain rule very frequently and very uh, in a good manner so that you can achieve the answer. Okay, uh, you have to be very comfortable with this uh, doing this chain rule very quickly. Okay, so uh, for the further discussion in this problem, I will not discuss every step uh, step very carefully. Okay, so you have to understand that how this chain rule is used in this problem. Okay. So it is becoming x dot square into y double dot. So this is your y double dot. Okay. So we will gonna use this thing. Okay. Now let's go to the next part. So how is your Lagrangian looking now? So Lagrangian is now looking m by two x dot square into one plus one plus y dash whole square minus m g y. This is your Lagrangian. Okay. Now write the equation of motion in terms of x dot and x. Okay, so x dot and x. I am using this thing. Okay, so the first term when you do it with x dot, so d d t of m into x dot into one plus y dash square, right, is equal to minus m g d y d x is y dash. Now one thing you should have very careful when you do derivative with respect to x when you do derivative with respect to x there is not only term dependent on x this y dash is also dependent on dependent on x so don't forget this part okay most people do this mistakes and they will arrive at wrong answer so don't forget this part okay now this is y dash square so the derivative will be 2y dash into y double dash right so this is your final right hand side okay so let's simplify a little bit and cancel the m also so it is minus gy dash plus x dot square y dash y double dash okay now do the derivative i am cancelling this in from all the side Okay, so here is your x, the first term. So I am derivative doing derivative in the first term. So x double dot into one plus y dash square plus x dot square. Now doing derivative, doing d d t on this term. Okay, so your first the derivative of y dash is square with respect to t. It will give us two y dash into d y dash d t. But we will use the chain rule. So we will become two y double dash, and there is an extra x dot coming here. So that's why there is I am already writing this as square. Okay. So when you write it as x dot into d d t of y dash square, this is two y dash y double dash, and there is an extra x dot because of the chain rule. So I am already writing it as x dot square. Okay. 
so this is all the thing okay minus g y dash plus x dot squared y dash y double dash okay now bring the rhs to the lhs okay so here is your x double dot okay plus your what is now take this y dash common so if you take y dash common what you left with x double dot y dash squared sorry not y dash squared uh, x double dot y dash this term and this term are almost same except the factor of 2 so if you uh, subtract this term from this term you will left with 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 and you are taking the y dash common so it is x dot squared into y double dash plus g right this is your uh, the complete equation now recognize what is this term this term is nothing but y double dot okay you already solve y double dot x dot x double dot y dash plus x dot square y double dash double dash okay this is exactly this term okay so it is x double dot plus y dash into g plus y double dot is equal to c so your right option will be x double dot plus g plus y double dash into dy dx is equal to zero okay so many students for uh, what they do the mistake the most common mistake is when they take the derivative with respect to x they only take this part they do dy dx and they forgot this part they forgot that y dash is also dependent on x okay so they forgot this term and that's why they are getting an extra factor of 2 here and their answer is not matching. Most people do this mistake. Okay. So this is actually a good problem from today. I feel this is the I feel this is the most good problem. I do many problems, but this is the most good problem according to me. Okay. Okay, so that's it for today. And there are also many other problems. But this time cutoff will be more, I guess, because last time I attempted 78 and I got 73 correct. So I got 214 and cutoff is around 166. Okay. So this time almost I uh, attempted all, almost 92. So even if 80 will be correct, then I will have marks 220 plus. Okay. So cutoff, I think, I mean, I, my attempt is higher. That means cutoff should also be a little higher, I guess, because if uh, question was last time, uh, same as last time, then I can all only attempt 80, 80 something because because I attempted this much question so I am thinking that cutoff will be a bit high guess I am not sure so cutoff according to my opinion cutoff will be around 180 I guess I mean I am not sure about that I am only predicting this because I feel that uh, I my attempt is higher compared to last time okay so I feel this can be cut off, but I am not sure the cutoff can be again 160. Okay, so don't offend with my prediction. Okay, don't get offended with my prediction. This is my, my I am thinking this, but maybe it will be 160. The park will know what will be the cutoff. But yeah, I think cut uh, question was easy compared to last time. Okay, okay, so that's it for today.